All right, so uh, getting back to the presentations. Uh, greetings to respect the dignitaries and uh, to all present here. Good morning. So uh, today's presentation would be based on a research that was done under the guidance of Professor Ravi uh, and was published in IJMRR, which is International Journal of Management uh, Research and Review. So the research is based on a Mon Monte Carlo simulation of various equity portfolios, and we estimate their future values and try to base an investment decision on it. So this is an abstract piece from uh, the research. And uh, as the abstract says that we have chosen three different portfol uh, portfolio, uh, that is the industries, one being IT, one uh, the FMCG, and the automobile. And from each uh, sector, we have chosen five different companies. So we have evaluated 15 different companies. We have created uh, three different uh, portfolios, one each in every sector. So uh, out of the many uh, literature that I've reviewed, I've chosen two. The first one not being a literature paper as such, it's a proceeding in an international conference by Ms. Desai, where she speaks about how she uh, used the Monte Carlo simulation to create an optimal portfolio. And the second one being uh, the theoretical aspect of Monte Carlo simulation, which helped me understand how to go about with the process, uh, which was written by uh, Mr. Chaudhary. All right, so the thing with equity market or the stock market is that it's uh, very attractive for the level of uh, returns that it gives. But with high returns, there are chances of very high risk. And uh, the problem with very high risk is that uh, we, there are chances of us losing money. And at this age, at this uh, youth age, we really don't have the skills to predict market conditions. And the calculations of future value that we learn are very rigid as it does give an estimation of how much value we would get at the end of the year, but then we really don't know the chances of us getting that return. So this is where the Monte Carlo simulation comes into picture. Uh, so we have taken our target investors as youth who are aged between 22 to 25, and uh, their investment capability of being rupees 1 lakh in lump sum and rupees 100 every month. Uh, and uh, the lock-in period we have chosen to be 10 years. So uh, we see that uh, with the analysis, we, we have first estimated the risk and returns of the uh, portfolio of the various stocks from the data that we took from the uh, Stock Exchange Board of India. And we have estimated the uh, average returns and the risk, and also the uh, beta, which was used for trainers ratio calculation. Uh, having uh, done that, we, we created the portfolios using uh, the uh, add-in solvent, uh, the solving data, the solver from uh, Microsoft Excel. And um, what solver does is it changes the weights by an input which uh, we give to be maximized uh, returns by minimizing risk, and hence it creates the po optimal portfolio for us. And uh, this portfolio is further evaluated uh, using the Sharpe's ratio and the uh, trainer's ratio. And uh, we compare it with few other portfolios from the same uh, data, and uh, we evaluate its uh, results. And on the po optimal portfolio, we uh, do the Monte Carlo simulation, and based on the result, we base our uh, investment decision. So this is the data that we've analyzed. In the IT sector, we see we have taken five companies uh, and five more in the automobile sector and the FMCG sector, and these are the average returns and risks that we have uh, got. And uh, having evaluated, we see that uh, portfolio F in the uh, IT sector gives the best result. Uh, compared to the rest, and same goes with uh, automobile uh, industry with portfolio B, and in the FMCG sector, we see portfolio C giving the best results, and they become our optimal portfolio. Now, the thing is that with market, we don't know what to expect. The market expectations are unknown, and uh, this is where the simulation comes into picture, where it gives probabilities of, uh, of a particular input, and uh, based on the various probabilities and results we get, we can base our decision. So this is how the uh, simulation runs. Uh, we first uh, choose an optimal portfolio. Uh, we uh, find out the end results at, at the end of 10 years in our case. And because our results are very in months, so uh, we took 120 months. And then we create 1,000 iterations, which goes on to say we create 1,000 different possible outcomes of one particular input. And we evaluate those 1,000 outcomes. But uh, evaluating 1,000 outcomes is, again, very difficult. So we take average results. And on those average results, we uh, also calculate the percentiles of the uh, results that we get. And uh, those percentiles basically help us ascertain the chances of us getting a particular uh, result. So these are the results we have obtained. And we see in the IT sector, uh, at 5% percentile, it gives somewhere close to around 3.7 lakhs to 4.35 lakhs, which is pretty high. If you compare it to the uh, fixed deposit growth rate of 7% annually, uh, we see that that gives somewhere, uh, somewhere around 2.3 lakhs. So we see two times that at 5% percent percentile. With 5% percent percentile, we basically go on to say that we are 95% confident that we'll get that amount. 
And uh, if you see our average on portfolio and the average uh, we have, that we have calculated on the future value that using the formula, we see that uh, we have pretty close. So our, our analysis is pretty much accurate. Though, yes, industry uh, results may differ as uh, it's based on, it's dependent on other uh, industries as well. All right, so in automobile sector, we see, yes, the performances are much better, and we see somewhere around 10.5 lakhs to 13 lakhs at 95% confidence, which shows the power of equity market, uh, which is much better compared to the fixed deposit. And uh, if you see the uh, FMG sector, it's not as well performing uh, compared to the automobile and IT, but then, yes, still compared to the fixed deposit um, uh, value, it's still higher. So we see the power of equity market and uh, why equity market is so preferred when uh, an investor is looking for more returns. So we see automobile sector becomes our first priority, that is the first ranked uh, investment uh, sector, for it gives the best returns, followed by IT sector, and FMCG sector for people who have very low uh, risk appetite, uh, FMCG sector was uh, suitable. So thus we come to an end of the presentation, and uh, I'd like to thank Biju sir for having given me this opportunity, and Ravi sir for his guidance, and my research team for the support. Thank you all.